Blake Samuel Parsons, take you, Grace Elena Aaron, to be my lawfully wedded wife. For richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, and to hold from this day forward. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. You're meant to be working. Just taking time out of my day to ask my wife out to lunch. Maybe she's busy. Busy? It's your day off. I know exactly where you are. <laughs> oh, really, Mr. Detective? Her gun. You know me too well. I'll see you at lunch. OK. DC Parsons, my office, now. You're working the Brown case? Yes, ma'am. Any strong developments? Possible leads? No, ma'am. No witnesses or suspects. I've hit a bit of a dead end. Right. Put it on the back burner. DS Mantle's going to be out for a couple of weeks. I need you on the Winters case. And for God's sake, Blake, stop looking so nervous. You know I don't bite. You're doing fine. Thank you. Come in. Robin Austin, ma'am. You wanted to see me? This is DC Parsons. You'll be shadowing him on all his cases. Well, welcome to the team. <laughs> Off you go, then. Oh. <laughs> She's a bit intense, hasn't she? She gets results. Is that the case you're working on? Yeah, it's one of them. I've just got this. I'm working in missing persons case. Greg Brown goes out for a run one day and just vanishes. And he's not the only one. Sandra Winters, 26. Reported missing about two weeks ago. Another missing person? You know, the papers reckon they're all connected. How do you think we should proceed? Um... Patrick Allen. He's listed among the known associates. He's a nasty piece of work. I'd start by questioning him. Great, it's you. Always a pleasure, Paddy. This is TDC Austin. Half an hour I've been waiting. Sorry about that. You gonna start the tape then? You're not under arrest, Mr. Allen. We just wanna ask you some questions. Ask away, darling. I'm an open book. Like I said, I knew her. Come on, Paddy, you're more than knew her. Last time you were in here was because you knocked seven bells out of her. She dropped the charges. I wonder why. Bitter, are we? When was the last time you saw Miss Winter? About four months ago. We broke up. What were your whereabouts on the 5th of this month? Mr Leon Smith? Yeah. Mr Allen alleges he was with you on the 5th of this month. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's, that's right, yeah. Doing what? Me, me and Uncle Patty, we were, we were fishing it out at Hollybrook Lake. Told you he was a good lad. Don't leave town. Good lad. 
Is that him? Alicia Campbell. In the missing persons case. Time of death? Estimated between 36 and 48 hours. Cause? Corin is still working on it. They didn't have any interesting plans tonight. Not anymore. Dizzy Parsons is going to want to see this. You've got to be kidding me. To get to you. You'll keep you up all night if you do. I've seen bodies before. Just not like that. I'd like to say you get used to it. The day I get used to it, the day I quit. I just, I just don't get it. It seems so random. There's many reasons. Greed, jealousy, messed up childhood. Thousands of motives I've seen before. As much as we'd like it to be, there isn't always a reason. They're doing it because they want to, because they can. They're not going to stop, are they? Not until we stop them. Then let's go. Way to work every day, yeah. Blake, you can't protect me from things that haven't happened. I'm going to water the garden. You realise the implications of what you're saying? A serial killer in this town? Oh, the press is going to have a field day. And you're sure about this? Yes, Mum. Right. Okay. Blake, can you handle this? Table six. Chad Baker has been inside since June. Last of our suspects in the database. Oh, damn it, Lisa! Another knife in this thing. Oh, she's bloody useless. Do you think Patrick Allen could have done this? He's only interested in money. He's got nothing to gain from this. Back to the drawing board then. You alright getting home? I'll give you a ride. No, it's all right. I've ordered a taxi. As long as you're not walking. I'll be fine. Thanks. Hello? Hey, Grace. Let me guess. Don't wait up. Sorry. I feel like I'm saying that all the time at the moment. 
okay, it's all right. I was going to nip down to Mrs Evans anyway and then get an early night. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I guess I'm going to have to get used to that. What? Not having a personal life. What have you got? I I'm not sure. I, I have to check. My crude attempts to make up for being a rubbish husband lately. Juice? Yes, please. So how is old Mrs Evans? Mm, feisty as ever. Still adamant that her shepherd's pie is better than mine, though. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I'm going to have a tea. Not tonight, sorry. But tomorrow, I promise. What happened to your hand? Oh, careless at work. I better get going. See you later. See ya. I've been looking into Leon Smith. I think I found something. After Patrick Allen broke up with Sandra, Leon put a brick through her window. He was also cautioned for assault and harassment against Martin Simpson. The other body we found, the teacher. Seems he failed Leon at school and, uh, Leon took his revenge. It's the best we've got. Good work. Find him. Please stop. Thank you, Robert. Leon's gone off grid, but we've got Paddy in for questioning. Well, let's see if he knows where his little protege is. Please. No, actually, it's all right. I can walk it in that time. Bye. Please, you've got to be quiet. Somebody help! Seriously, she sure would look at her. Where is he? This is getting tiring. Just tell us what we want to know. I told you, I haven't seen him. That's not good enough, Paddy. We can sit here all night if we have to. Are you going to charge me, or what? Didn't think so. You're free to go. It's gone 11 o'clock, Blake. Yeah, I just, I just need to finish You've this been off. here for 14 hours. You're no good to me exhausted. Go home. Okay. <laughs> Grace? Grace? DCI Marlowe? Right, okay. Calm down, we'll find her. No, no, Blake, stay where you are. Finally. You're awake. Oh, God. Yeah. He was more trouble than he's worth. Herb Garden. You know me too well. I'll see you at lunch. Someone was really a good number when he was a kid. Would that make it better? If I told you that, uh, Daddy got too close and Mummy took a blind eye? Grow up. There's no one to blame here. You're just an itch that I need to scratch. They're gonna know it's you. Eventually, yeah. As dumb as Blake is, he does have some wits about him. But. Unfortunately, by that time, it'll be too late for you. Why me? Like you're so important. Right time, right place, sweetie. They all think you did this. 
Not, not when I turn up dead. Don't worry. I have a plan for that. Grace? Oh my god, Grace. Are you okay? Where are you? Okay, okay, I'm coming. God, it was taking so long. I just want to get her home. It'll be a little while. They'll want to talk to you next. Yeah, I know. What happened next, Grace? He came towards me with the knife. He, he got really close. I, 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 I jumped at him, I tried to grab his hands and that's when he caught me. Um, but I'd taken him by surprise. He'd lost his grip, but I, I managed to get the knife away from him and I held it out in front of me. I thought he'd stop, but he didn't. He came at me. I didn't. Oh, he. I just reacted and he, he fell to the ground. Blake, when you're ready. Robin, chase up that report with you. I want to go home, Blake. I won't be long, I promise. No, I want to go home now. I've asked them to call me a taxi. No way. No way am I letting you go home after this. Don't do that. Don't treat me like a victim. If I don't do this now, I never will. Okay. But call me as soon as you get home, okay? What am I looking at? The report from the house. They found another body in the bedroom. The owner of the house, a Mrs. Evans. Enid Evans? Yes. Did you know her? Grace did. She used to take her meals. Mrs. Evans didn't have any family. Well, the coroner puts her death at at least two weeks. So how is old Mrs. Evans? Mm, feisty as ever. Blake! 